Welcome to Asbury Hall Golf Club. Today we're going to be showing you how to use a clicker tube to get more distance. Hi, I'm Piers Ward. And I'm Andy Proudman. You're watching me and my golf TV. So thanks for all your interaction the past week. Loads of comments on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. We've got a great one today from Samuel Fortin. Samuel Fortin has asked, when should we flick the wrists in the downswing? So should it be at impact before or afterwards? We're gonna show you with the help of a clicker tube. Now this is something we use when we practice. Um, we can put 20 golf balls in there, pick them all up. It's got an elasticated band at the bottom of the clip where the ball can come out of. Okay, now we've got three golf balls in there and what we're gonna do, we're gonna give that to Andy. Not a wind-up, okay. Take your setup for me, Andy, if you could, noticing that the hole now is at the bottom. Right, what Andy is gonna do, he's gonna swing back and do a half swing for me. Okay, so from this position here, Andy, what have you done here with your wrists? Okay, so I've created that sort of hinge in the wrist on the way back that, that's really important for the sequence of the backswing. Okay, perfect. The golf balls are in here now by his hands. Now what he's gonna do is keep the golf balls by his hands all the way down to his right thigh. So if you can do that for me, Andy. Okay, that's perfect. Now, I mean, it looks from there as so you can just smash it from there perfectly, but can you just come back up again? Sorry. And then just describe to the viewers what you're doing when you do this. Okay, so. How are you doing this? From here, what I've obviously got that hinge in the wrist there. What I'm doing, I'm feeling my lower body's pulling everything down now, and sort of I'm just maintaining those angles that I've created in the backswing, really. It's, and it's sometimes difficult to see on camera. Just come up again there, Andy, because I know it's difficult to stay there. It's sometimes difficult to see this on camera, but the lower body is absolutely definitely going leading, first. Definitely leading. We've tested you before, we know it does that. Pulling those arms down with the lower body and upper body sort of in sequence really. What we don't want to do is do any of this. Okay, yeah. so no arms and upper body first. So let's just do this one more time. So let's set it all down. So golf balls are at the bottom of the club again. Come all the way up. Golf balls drop down as you set. So from there you said start the downswing with the lower body. You've held the golf balls here. This is up in the air here still. Down to the right leg. Now from there, what are you going to do, Andy? When do we, need fire, to, when do we flick these wrists now? We, we flick these wrists from here, straight down to him, just after impact here, uh, here just at, past my left leg. Perfect, so you can see at this point here, so Sam, when does he flick his wrists? He kind of gets into a great position here and then he fires down and he can be quite aggressive from there, can't you? Definitely. Again, let's do that one more time. I think Ben Hogan said that you could actually, he felt like he wanted three right hands once he was in this sort of right thigh position. So again, one more time on the good one, holding the angle and then from there, dump it out. Brilliant, okay. And that is a fantastic way of getting that energy to the end of the club head through the ball. And again, uh, quoting another great golfer, Jack Nicholas, he would say he would feel his club head was traveling faster after he hit the golf ball. It wasn't, but that was the feeling he had. Definitely. So, that was the, the correct way to flick the wrist through impact. Show you where most people are. Let's show you where most people are. Okay, so most people flick their wrists far too early in the golf swing, really, okay. Piers. And sort of flicking the wrist isn't really, probably not the best way to describe it, but that's, that's how he's asked the question. But yeah. what we see the majority of people do is they, they dump these balls to the end too early. So from the top of the golf swing or from here, they will then throw all that, throw that golf ball, or the golf balls in there down too early. And you can see, I've lost that angle that I've created there. So and that energy now is, it's come out the golf, the golf club too early as opposed to storing that energy here and then firing it again at that point just after impact. Perfect. So, who, who is this, I know obviously we're talking about flicking the wrists and getting in the right place, but who is this video for? Who should be doing this drill? Every single person who's watching this video should have a go at this drill. Absolutely. There's not many people at all who we see who hold this for too long okay yeah. so we want to make sure that we can create that good trail in the golf club we've talked about lag in so many other yeah, yeah, videos yeah. but it's so important to create the awareness and the feel of it as well and i, and I think even even for the real good players even like ourselves this is a good drill because i mean i say real good players but we we're very good at holding lag we, yeah. we teach it a lot and you know so we actually hold on to it sometimes too long now yeah. from there again if you're holding on to it too long you're not releasing the energy at the bottom. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do one more time, just is for the guys who have who are watching this video and going, well, I've got loads of lag, I don't need this drill. I actually believe you do. So go to the top, store it down to waist height, sorry, down to thigh high, and then from there, dump the power out. So that's you releasing that energy. You're not holding onto it too long either. So if you're an early releaser or a late releaser, this video is good for you. Definitely. So pretty much everyone should be watching it. Definitely. Okay, guys, I hope you like the video. Give us a thumbs up, Samuel. I hope this helps you understand the golf swing. If anyone else out there needs any sort of 
um, has any questions about the golf swing, you know, what parts of the body should be moving at what time, you know, post those comments. We'd love to help you with that. And we'll look forward to seeing you soon on Me and My Golf TV.